What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday morning, so happy Monday to you guys and hope you have a great week. But we are back with the Italian League midfielders. And I'm going to be honest, lads, there's a couple of surprising players in this pack. Most notably, Donadoni. We'll get into him in a second. But for the most part, I think this is a very easily skipped pack. And I'll tell you why, okay? So obviously, we've got Rui Costa and Nakata in there as well. This is in a pack here with the rest of these players in the box. You've got Fratesi, you've got Kustic, you've got Loftus-Cheek. But the rest of the players here, Rui Costa, Donadoni and Nakata, they're the big draw here, right? So I'm not going to waste too much time. Obviously, a lot of people are probably going to be waiting for, you know, Rumi that's going to be coming soon. We've got a couple of other players like Rijkaard and Hullet to come as well. I think before eFootball uh, 25 comes out. But Nakata is a very decent player. I mean, he's down as a creative playmaker in here. A lot of people don't like creative playmakers, but I definitely think that they have been uh, boosted a little bit. He actually only needs flip flap for advanced double touch and he has one touch pass, true pass and outside curler and fighting spirit. Low lofted is definitely needed on this guy, but he does have true passing, so he does need weighted as well. So there's a little bit of work to be done with him. Honestly, I think Nakata could be very beastly with those 34 levels, right? And to show you his stats and his breakdown, we are going to go over here. 2e football db and they've got a, a slightly new layout they are working on new stuff for the new season as far as i know with the manager boost the booster boost and a load of new stuff that's going to be coming in efootball 25 so keep an eye on that and this is the breakdown that we have here so it's five into shooting eight passing 10 dribbling 10 decks six lower body one into aerial strength and three into defending now this is with the manager boost as well so you're going to be getting a plus three to any staff with the top proficiency managers to uh, any st any stat that is over 85 with a manager that's plus, you know, 85 in proficiency, right? But I do feel like that this card is kind of, it's a very decent card. I mean, you're only hitting 81 speed, but you are getting that 90 balance. You're only hitting 78 stamina, and that is a concern. But if you double down on the rest of this card, you can actually have a quite a phenomenal, uh, you know, card here, right? Now, obviously with this as well, I would probably take off a little bit of this to get the low pass to 85. And then that's going to free you up to get a little bit more, just a little bit more into lower body strength, speed there at 83, and the stamina at 80. That's going to make a little bit of a difference with this card. But it's not a bad card. Obviously, there's just, you know, eFootball is a flush with unbelievably good centre midfielders. And as most people only play two-man midfields, which is essentially, you know, if you're playing an attacking midfielder or you're playing anyone out wide, they're not really midfielders with the way that the game breaks down in your chance creation. So usually your two-man pivot or your one-man holding and one-man creative or all-rounder, it is a very important role. And I just don't know if Donna or if uh, Nakata is going to fill that, um, you know, compared to some other players in the game at the moment. Now, also on top of that, he does have a lot of levels, but Donadoni is definitely the pick in terms of his levels, right? He's down as a centre midfielder, but he's also down as a whole player. So I think attacking midfield is the best position for this guy. He's got double touch. He's got outside curler. He's also got one touch pass. He's got dip and shot, long range curler and long range shooting. And he has fighting spirit off the rip. Again, he doesn't have... Um, he doesn't have first time shot if you are going to be, you know, shooting a lot. And he does have poor finishing skills and stats. But other than that, man, I think he is definitely the pick of him, right? And he's actually quite surprising with his stats, right? So here you're going to see a breakdown of a 5-3-7, 10-10-3-7 build from uh, shooting down to defending. We've popped 7 into aggression. If you're playing him as an attacking midfielder, I would completely ignore aggression. I do feel that aggression at 80 is kind of like a hidden type thing where the players are just super, super, um, you know, locked into defending from the front. And if you're playing against somebody that likes to hold the ball, an aggressive attacking midfielder can be super good. But this, again, I mean, if you take out his defending here, right, which is very, you know, pretty still decent at 75 or whatever it's going to be, you'll still be able to free up a little bit more room if you want to go to the dribbling. Now, he is going to obviously have his booster as well, which he does get. Um, and I do feel like that if he has, you know, his booster is going to be nice at ball control, dribbling, tight possession and low pass. You are going to be pretty much getting, uh, you know, all of these stats into the high 90s, like our low 90s. You're going to have ball control, dribbling and tight possession all at 90. And then the low pass here is going to be at 80 uh, five just based on that now you can get it up to 89 but you won't be able to with this build get it to 90 and i don't think you need anything more than 80 85 low pass anyway perfect being perfectly honest with you i just don't i just don't think that there is man enough kind of like passing variety in the game that 80 to 90 is going to make a difference i know some people swear by it and if you have a player a player that's got low pass 80 
um, versus a, lo- a p- player that's got low pass 100, I would check out exactly what player skills that player has and his player ID as well. Don't get too obsessed with the low pass stat because for me, with a lot of testing, it doesn't make that much of a difference compared to some, you know, some other players, right, or some other stats. But it is a fine card, and you've got a lot of room to go with this card as well. You're going to have every stat that you could possibly want for an attacking midfielder apart from the finishing. The finishing is probably the big killer on this card here um, because you're not going to be able to get it to 85. Or you're not going to get it into that zone. You will be able to get it fairly high but you're not going to be able to get it up where it needs to be, in my opinion, to 80. So, um, yeah, that's probably the biggest, you know, complaint with this card, even with the passing or anything like that. You can max out his balance and his dribbling and all that. But to be honest with you, I think that this is a nice card. And now, obviously, you could take away from this and you can completely take away from the defendant and you could actually hit um, the 80 finishing. You could you could hit that 80 finishing with that build there. Or on top of that, if you don't want to do that, you could actually hit it with the passing. So that's two things just to keep in mind there, that you actually can hit the 90 low pass or the 80 finishing, depending on how you build him up. But for me, I definitely think that one of those two builds is going to be where you go with it and where you kind of lock out with him. And last but not least, we have Rui Costa. So Rui Costa actually has the big time skill, right? Um, Which is going to be the visionary pass perfectly honest lads i don't think that attacking midfielder classic number 10s are as good but he does get a fairly nice card and a very nice booster here he doesn't have a lot of skills that you could want if you're looking to play him as kind of a running gun he's more of a slow based kind of passing first you know option right now he does have finishing booster dribbling and ball control which is nice in the balance as well he's got actually got a really good booster but he doesn't have advanced double touch if you're used to playing with really silky attacking midfielders. He has one touch pass, but he doesn't have low lofted. He doesn't have true pa- or weighted pass, but he has true passing. He has outside curler and long range curler with visionary pass. So it's going to be all about how much you know stock you put in with visionary pass. And for the build, it's very simple taking the rest of those and his booster into consideration. It is a fairly decent card. And you go, again, you're going to have the balance acceleration. You're going to have all of those into the, you know, the mid 90s, really. If, you know, like acceleration is going to be pretty much maxed out. Ball control, dribbling, tight possession, low pass, very, very solid. And of course, the finishing is going to be at near enough 85 as well. There's a lot to like about this card. But I do feel at this stage in the game, lads, right? And I keep saying this now before eFootball 25 comes out. I would say that unless you are super, super interested in getting one of these players, I would wait until you have a pack that you just can't not spin for. And obviously, every pack can be, you know, not spin for if you're playing free to play. Um, but obviously, if for people that do spin quite a lot, I do think there are better things coming, to be honest with you. So that is it for me, boys. We will be streaming in a little bit, probably, yeah, within the hour, I'd say. We'll get on early. We'll get off early. We'll see what the crack is. We'll see if we do a couple of cheeky spins. But for me, I think this is a skip. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe button on the road to 50k. And I'll talk to you in a bit.